as students coming to the next basic concept of object oriented programming that is the data abstraction so in the previous videos i explained about the classes objects encapsulation now coming to the abstraction so in this video i'll explain what exactly the abstraction was data abstraction and what is the difference between the encapsulation and abstraction so if you know the difference i already explained the encapsulation so now just uh, listen about the abstraction then i'll show the difference between those two so what is an abstraction abstraction refers to abstraction refers to the act so while i'm explaining the abstraction i will uh, explain this abstraction by saying the difference between the encapsulation and abstraction so what the encapsulation will do and what the abstraction will do so that you will understand actually there is only slight variation between these two both are hiding the information but what a type of information it is going to be hide that i'll explain now abstraction refers to the act of representation essential sorry act of representing act of representing essential features without including the background details or explanations or explanation so that you call it an abstraction so here is abstraction is saying that it refers the act of representing essential features without including the background details or explanation so abstraction doesn't it just show you what that feature is but it is doesn't relieve the information uh, how this uh, thing is developed means it's hiding the details of the background so whereas encapsulation is the data is only accessed by the methods by the functions which are wrapped in a class so outside the class the data is not visible and here the abstraction is it is the act of representing the essential features without including the background details means it is hiding the background details whereas there in encapsulation it's completely data is hiding and here only the essential features are showing and the remaining details are hiding so both are the hiding but here in data abstraction only the background details are hiding then it's everything so let me explain with an example here so let us take a door a door is an example a class this is a door so here a door is a class so what i am explaining about this door means i am ab ab uh, abstracting the data here what type of data i am going to abstract here so it's just the essential features only i will abstract without including the background details so properties the door properties are so what are the properties manufacture okay manufacture type and weight opening mechanism so i just here represented only the essential feature so what type of door was and what type of manufacture and here i didn't explain i am not showing how the uh, means what type of door i fit here i am not revealing the background details of the type of the door suppose it is any type of the play wood door okay and here i am not uh, showing the background details how that uh, door was created and what type of uh, material they are used and how that material was uh, created means it's just hiding the background details just showing the manufacture and the type which type and which color and exact weight and opening uh, mechanism that used so here opening mechanism just it is a suppose a flips are used here let us take okay it is not showing what type of flip we are used how that flip was created and how where, where from where it, that flip was uh, came to here okay it's just hiding complete the background details just only showing the essential features 
so that you have to be remembered so since the classes use the concept of data abstraction so they are also known as abstract data types so that's why we call it as abstract data type so let me explain the difference between the abstraction and encapsulation abstraction encapsulation so then you will get a clear idea about the abstraction so abstraction is used for hiding so it is also used for hiding for what for uh, what type of data it is hiding it is used for hiding the unwanted data it's only hiding the unwanted data not complete data only unwanted data is hiding and giving relevant data so which is you uh, only useful information is only it is showing uh, and it is hiding the unwanted data that you call it as abstraction. Then what about the encapsulation? Encapsulation means hiding the code and data into a single unit to protect to protect data from outside world. So, to protect the data out, from outside world, it's just hiding the complete code and data into a single unit. Here, it is only hiding the unwanted data. So, that you have to be remembered. And next, abstraction lets you focus on what the object, what the object does. Okay, what the object will does. And here, the encapsulation is going to focus on how the object does here what and it is how and next uh, let me explain the, the abstraction is focused on outer layout used in terms of used in terms of design so abstraction will be used whenever you are discussing about the design Outer layout means used in terms of design. Whereas encapsulation is an inner layout. I hope from this, uh, by seeing this point, you will understand what abstraction is encapsulation. Abstraction will use in the, uh, in the concept of designing. It's just outer layout. When you're designing the outer layout, we will use the abstraction concept. Whereas encapsulation is inner layout used in terms of implementation. So, it is used in terms of implementation. We will use the encapsulation. So, the example for this abstraction is let us take the mobile phone, the outlook of mobile phone. Outlook of mobile phone. So, here what abstraction will do in the mobile phone? It's just displaying the screen and the key buttons that are used to uh, call. Okay. Just uh, designing the outlook of a mobile phone that dis display screen keypad keypads everything whereas encapsulation is inner implementation details of mobile phone inner implementation details of mobile phone means how the keypad and how the keypad and the display screen are connected like that the inner applications deals with the encapsulation and the outer look applications will deals with the abstraction so this is the difference between the abstraction and encapsulation thank you